It's a ritual that happens 180,000 times a year at Saskatoon's Friendship Inn. A hungry person receives a warm greeting and a warm meal. But breakfast on this morning tasted just a little better as it was accompanied by the official grand opening of the centre's new facility. The process began three years ago when board members took a hard look at the existing building. We felt that it wasn't doing a good enough job of the day-to-day -day meal service and we weren't able to offer a lot of other programming we thought was possible. So then we started looking with the real push of our chair at the time, Peter Zakreski, look at expanding and that's, that's what started it all off. The board was ambitious in its designs, deciding to not only renovate their existing structure, but also to purchase and knock down the building that was beside it. And it was important to do so while continuing to serve the community. They launched a $2.5 million capital campaign, which received a $500,000 matching grant from the Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan in the early going. We think that nothing happens on the basis of empty stomachs. If you think about you can't educate anyone because if you're hungry you can't possibly think about learning something. And if you think about uh, big global concerns like world peace, how are you ever going to have peace on the basis of empty stomachs? So nothing good happens. Cameco also contributed half a million dollars to go along with donations from the community. Once the money was raised, several trades and construction workers gave their time and expertise to make the building a reality. The end result includes a large office area and a vastly improved kitchen, something that Larry Spence, who cooked for years in the cramped old space, can truly appreciate. We should have had it over 20 years ago. When I first walked into the old place, we didn't have very much equipment, maybe a third this size. This was a great improvement. And officials believe with the improvements to the kitchen, dining and staff areas, they have successfully created a space on the inside that lives up to the name on the outside. We, we ask no questions, we don't require a means test or, or anything. You basically uh, show up at the inn, you want to eat, you eat. And you know that's sort of the essence of friendship. And then we hope that the gathering space we've created opens up other opportunities for us to offer them more than that. For Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt.